Daniel, that's the first time that you and John have played. You've both been on tour for quite some time, and I have to say, I'm sorry we haven't seen that before now, because that was fantastic to watch. What was it like for you to play him? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it was a great match. You know, even the score in the second and third doesn't reflect everything that went on the court. First set, he managed to break me three times. That's not that often that it happens. So I must be a little bit disappointed with myself, but he played amazing. So uh, big credits to John. Also, uh, I have to ask you, Jim, last year I played all my matches on Rod Laver, and I think almost all of them, uh, you were the interviewing me after the match. Yep. I play on Margaret and it's still you. You, you. you follow me. I'm happy about it. I'm happy. You can't shake me, man. I'm like glue. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see it. But I'm happy to see you. You had a hard time shaking him. I'm glad to see you, too. You know I liked watching you play. You had a hard time shaking him in these rallies. You're normally so good at winning all these long rallies, and he stayed with you. Sometimes 30, 35 shot rallies. What's that like to have someone who can match you in that department? It's not often. Well, physically for both of us, it was tough, I think. Uh, one moment in the first set, I was like, how am I going to handle this? I'm, uh, I was already pretty tired. I was like, okay, I just have to try to continue. And then there was one point on the break point for me. And I made one, uh, it was a good rally, and I made one cross cross court, and he didn't even run. And I was like, okay, that's tough for him also. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was not easy first set. And I think I was going for too much sometimes. So uh, second and third, I started playing even slower, and I was like, okay, John, if you want to beat me, let's play 40, uh, 40 short rallies all the time. Uh, and yeah, I, I managed to, to be just a little bit more consistent today. Yeah, that's cruel, man, really cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're, you're an amazing athlete, we know this. You also have a different build than a lot of players. You're, you're really lean, but I noticed after the match, you showed your coach and your team a little bit of your, your leg. What, what's that all about? I know, just because, as I said, you know, uh, one moment I felt like uh, it's going to be tough physically and you never know what can happen. I, sometimes I cram, sometimes I'm uh, not strong enough to, to, to finish the matches, but uh, this match I felt amazing physically. So that was kind of to show uh, what a trance. And I also thought about uh, probably a lot of people saw on social media photos of uh, Martin after his match. Fucevic? <laughs> Yeah, who, who looked like Thor. Yeah, I think I'm just uh, a little bit less muscles than him, so it was also to, to laugh about myself because I must see the photo. I do think I have a little bit of muscles, but definitely not too much. All right, we got to leave it there. We got more interviews possibly ahead. Great job, Danielle. If you want to flex for the camera, feel free, but you're, you're moving your way to the third round. A real character is Daniel Medvedev, a very popular man all around the globe. And that performance tonight was, was physical, it was mental. And, uh, as you can imagine, he'll walk off this court feeling pretty good about things as he is into the third round.